Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So this is two level ups worth uh, on, uh, I think, December 5th and December 9th. And to be honest with you, it's not a very exciting level up because there were no advancement solo events going on. So I didn't make any great pushes. So basically what I did during these level ups was to aim for the 30, um, I think it's 30 uh, units in the uh, second to last milestone. So while I'm doing all these little tiny level ups and things, I wanted to talk to you about a couple of things. First of all, just got done watching Shang-Chi. Yes, I'm late, but it was good. If you haven't seen it, go see it. It was really good. Uh, have not seen the Spider-Man movie yet. We'll see whenever I get to see it. It'll probably be much later after everybody has seen it, but it can't be spoiled for me. So uh, eventually I will get a chance to see it. But Shang-Chi was good. I liked it. Uh, my sister, Stiletto, she also liked it uh, since we watched it together. Okay. Now, the other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is a recent post by Kabam. Kabam did uh, another band wave. Now that's not unusual. They do band waves periodically. They catch these bots, they ban the accounts. Some of the bots are in the top, you know, 500 and they'll ban them. But one of my greatest critiques of them, and if you've been following me, you already know I've been very vocal about this. They would ban the bots, but they would not compensate the players for missing out. Okay, so say, for example, you have your top 100, right? And you found 10 bots in the top 100 and you ban them. Well, what you should do, and this is what I've been saying from the longest time, is the next ones 10 101 down what you do is give them the champion because they would have gotten the champion if it were not for those bots and it was through no fault of their own but kabam had not been doing that and by that i understood that they were okay with the situation because they got to give out less of that champion, which means more people wanting that champion. Those 10 in my hypothetical situation um, would either grind again, putting up units and everything, or they'll just start opening crystals. Again, perhaps purchasing units in order to buy these crystals and so on. So, it seemed to me that it was in Kabam's best interest to ban the bots and then do absolutely nothing. And that's what they had been doing for years. Well, that has changed. In that post, I saw something that really made me smile. And I had to give kudos to Kabam for it. Because what they're going to do after they did this major ban wave... They told us all, you know, the number of bands that they did, which was quite substantial. And they said some of them did find their way into the leaderboards. And so what they are now going to do for the first time ever, they are going to give those who were displaced in the leaderboards the champions that they would have gotten Otherwise, so they're going to just shift everything up. Like I said, that's really what they should have done. Now, in the hypothetical situation I gave, that's the easy way. But what if it was two in the top 100 and maybe five in the, you know, top 500? You know, then they have to still adjust, but they're going to have to do, you know, some manual adjusting. I don't know whether they will allow them to keep the champion that they did get. You know, obviously, if you 
were 501 and down, you're going to get a champion. If you were in that situation, uh, 101, 102, something like that, then you would get the six star champion, but you also had the five star champion. Will they let you keep it? I believe so. Okay. Uh, I think they'll let them keep that and then they'll get the six star that they had grinded for and won legitimately, if not for those cheaters. Okay, so very good news for people who missed out. I don't know how far back they're going to go, uh, but, you know, at least this arena uh, where they did the ban, uh, they said that they were going to be doing that. So... Um, I believe it's a manual process, so it may take a little bit for uh, everyone to get, you know, what they earned, really, with their time, and some of them with their money as well, all right? So, I'm loving that. I'm loving that. I, I give uh, Kabam uh, kudos for that. You know, I don't often uh, focus on, you know, the negative things that they do, but if they do something that I feel is really shady or um, it really just gets under my skin, I'm going to make a video about it. Well, it's only fair to also talk about when they do something good. And this is something good. I don't think too many people can complain about it unless they just like to complain. Okay. Now, the funny thing, we were having a discussion about uh, some of these bots and on the leaderboards and, you know, Everyone, you know, thinks that, oh, yeah, the bots, you know, are trying to get on these leaderboards. But think about that. The bots are usually just trying to grind out units. They don't want to get on the leaderboards because that will bring attention to them. Why would they want that attention? Why would they bot to get into the top 100 or the top 200? when they know that's going to bring more attention to them. Usually what happens and why you see them there is they just went a little bit too high. That arena went a little low. They ended up on the leaderboards. And now people are like, whoa, what's going on there? You know, and more than likely, Kabam had been gathering data for quite a while so that when they did this kind of band wave, that's what they do. They let those go for a while. And then, boom, hit them with it. And I kind of figured they were going to do something like this uh, before the gifting event. Now, those that were banned and, you know, removed, they will no longer uh, be able to participate in the gifting because the uh, bans, either they're permanent bans or the bans are long enough that they won't be able to participate in the gifting. Now, if it was a pure bot account, it's permaban. If it's a player that also used a bot, then it's a temporary ban. If it's the first time, I believe that's how it works. Uh, if it's the first time and uh, the length of it, I'm not sure uh, how that works exactly. But you had a mixed bag. So you might see some of those accounts back and the person who may have used a bot, they may go straight from now on. They may take that uh, as a wake-up call and go straight from this point on. But if it's an account that was just purely a bot account, they're going to be gone permanently. But of course, the people who do it are just going to create another account, run the bots again, farm up the units, and so on and so forth. Okay? Um, but it'll just keep happening. But at least now, one of my greatest critiques of this whole process, you know, I, I honestly felt that they were not incentivized to detect the bots the way that they could. And that was because it seemed like it was in their best interest to catch the bots eventually, but not compensate and give the champions to those who earn the champions. So now that they said they're going to do that, 
it's all good. All right, so that that pretty much was uh, the largest thing that I took away from that uh, post. All right, so anyway, uh, we're coming to the end now of the uh, video. You can see the different rank ups that I did when I'm not doing a push for any particular, you know, um, one to 10% in an advancement or uh, in the level up. I just basically level up whoever I have. So um, all of the six stars that I got that I didn't level up uh, in another video, Rogue was someone that I had just recently pulled. So she goes up, you know, and not rank up, but at least level up. And do you see how many mutants I had left? That's why you saw earlier I was opening up crystals, trying to get some uh, uh, mutant ISO. All right, so I was low on mutant ISO. And in the future, because I know that I'm low on mutant ISO, any chance I get for mutant ISO, that's what uh, I'm going to choose. So you see the uh, level up and you see the score. When I do a push, I try to go for 130,000. But as long as I'm getting the units from that uh, solo event, and I, I can't remember if it's 20 or 30, but that's my main goal, those units. I don't really even care so much if I get the you know, top milestone but I try to do that as well. But all I think the top milestone gets me is a five-star uh, generic Sigstone, one. Five-star generic Sigstone. And since I'm not really pushing my five stars anymore, it's not as big of a deal. But those units, they add up. So every event, except for the event uh, quest completion, uh, but every other event, I try to hit every single time. And you see, I was thinking about that generic and I was like, do I want to rank up another four star? Eh, sure. We'll rank up another four star right quick. Um, that should give me, you know, all of the milestones. Not a big deal if I stopped, you know, uh, for those units. All right. So that's going to do it, guys, for the video. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. That's my final score. And you all have a blessed day.